Hello everybody, how's it going? It's me, Krendor, and welcome back to Krendor Talks in front of a shitty green screen. Today, we've got some big Warhammer Age of Sigmar news, and I'm excited about it because this year is shaping out to be the Krendor Age of Sigmar fiesta, essentially. <laughs> Every army that I love seems to be getting something. So, obviously right behind me, you know, I can even scroll down a bit to the roadmap, we've got uh, Slaves to Darkness, which is already here, pretty much. Um, Beasts of Chaos are right around the corner, and Gloomspite Gits, also right around the corner. P those probably gonna be coming out, like, I would guess end of January, early February, if I had to take a wild guess. Um, so, two armies that I love to play, Beast and Gloomspite. Well, I don't love to play them currently, but I will hopefully love to play them when these books come out, because I have full armies for both, and... Boy, howdy, do they need help. So, really excited for that. Hoping for some good War Scroll updates, rules updates for both of them. Um, but, obviously, in the spring, we've got a lot of Battle Tomes coming out. So, we got the Order, the Two Chaos, which is probably Corn and Slanesh, because the only ones that haven't got it. And then Two Death, which people are assuming isn't Soul Blight. Soul Blight, because, uh... They got a tome at the end of 2.0, pretty much, and then uh, Flesh Eater Quartz and OBR really need new tomes, so. <laughs> uh, although it wouldn't surprise me if GW is just like, Soul Blight, instead of one of those that really need it. So we'll see, but it's probably those two. Um, but, and then there's the, the ordered battle tome in the summer. A lot of people are assuming this is the Cities of Sigmar, because there's the whole, like, Cities thing. I'm not a big human cities person, so I don't really care, but uh, it sounds cool for all the people like cities. But this one is the one where I'm like, this is either Seraphon or KO. And after today, it's it's going to be Seraphon. So um, they released this Warhammer community article being like, what's in store for Age of Sigmar in 2023? So they show off Slaves of Darkness, right? They go through the whole thing. There's Slaves to Darkness. They're like, here's stuff that's happening now. Then they're like, and then we got the Gloom Spide Gits, which got some really cool wolf models with goblins. And they got this new Beast Lord, which looks fantastic. I can't wait to paint him. And then they say, and even more on the way. And then they proceed to show a, what clearly is a, um, a slan, because, I mean, you can kind of see the horns coming out. Where's my slan? Here, I'll, I'll give you a little presentation here on a slan, all right? Uh, where is my slan? Um, okay, I've only got my Lord Croak throne, but it, it works just as well. So, this is my old Lord Croak, right? If you take a look at this, and the shitty green screen doesn't, like, block it out, right? Um, you can see, oh god, <laughs> you can see the horns, right? Okay, this is terrible. <laughs> you can see the horns. How is it, how is it even, okay. <laughs> um, I could literally just pull up a picture of us, why am I doing this? Uh, okay, hold on. <laughs> Let me just pull up a picture of a slan here. Okay, slan. Here we go. I don't know why I didn't do this at first. Okay, so if you look at a slan, this looks like a, a slan, an old ass slan. Um, bloop. Here we are. Okay. God, why? <laughs> why is this so bad? Here we go. Okay. Here, this one's not bad. This should be better. Why are these so small? Okay, but it, it doesn't matter. You can see all these little horns. You got the horns coming out the bottom. Right? Um, so when we go back here, okay, you can see the horns coming out. You have the vines coming off. Uh, obviously, it is floating because you can see the vines are hanging down. And much like New Lord Croak, who... <laughs> okay, you should be able to see this one. <laughs> All right? Okay, here's New Lord Croak, right? You can see the vines. There we go. You can see the vines coming down, right? Look at that, all these vines. Looks pretty similar in terms of vine stuff. So it's it's pretty obvious this is a slan, right? I think the the current one of the most prominent heroes 
of the Seraphon army is the slaying, right? And to have that still be a fine cast model is just... It doesn't make sense, right? <laughs> so I think that's part of it. I think, you know, people love Seraphon. People love the new Lord Croak, probably one of the best models they've done. So it would make sense that they're like, hey, we should probably make a slan also have a plastic thing. And I would assume that he's going to have a bigger base compared to the old bases, right? I imagine maybe not as big as Lord Croak, but I would say pretty close, right? Um, Either the same or, you know, close. So I think when you look at this, you can also kind of see... There's like a skink. You see the skink right there? So that would make sense because obviously on these, there's a skink right here. There is a skink even on the old, you know, throne. Um, so it, it's pretty obviously a slain. That's just, you know, it, it, it's what it is. <laughs> uh, it even looks like there's a little frog guy right here or something. So we'll see. Uh, I'm excited for that. Then we have the Saurus... I got a little ahead of myself. We have a new Saurus Warrior. Um, it's pretty blatantly obvious this is a Saurus Warrior. He's got the Saurus Warrior Club. He's got a shield. He looks just like the Starblood Stalker uh, Saurus Warrior that comes in the kit where he's like, blah. And Saurus Warriors are old and they need to be updated. So that makes the most sense. Uh, there's also rumor engines for spears. So it would make sense that they also have spears and clubs. Um, and then, we also get this thing. So, I don't know what the shit this is, <laughs> but it looks like it's a giant dinosaur. And it, if you see right here, this is the little hint, right? The little split tail. Now, if you look at, I don't know why I keep showing you, like, my actual models because they don't show up on the green screen thing um if you look at a skink priest okay <laughs> skink priest or no skink oracle sorry on troglodon skink oracle on troglodon you will see okay here we go maybe this will actually show up big enough see so you got that split tail and then the two little danglies take a look at this split tail Got the danglies, right? So, and you got the, the big thing there. Uh-oh, too far back. That leads me to believe this is some sort of skink dinosaur thing. Um, <laughs> I don't know, because at first I was like, dude, this could be like Saurus Cavalry, right? And that would be fantastic if we actually had Saurus Cavalry. But... Uh, I was thinking more, and I'm like, no, nah, this seems more like a skink thing, right? You got the troglodon. It looks like it's got, like, a a bunch of these things. So, I mean, if we go back and even look at the troglodon, it's got, like, kind of... It, it could be something similar to that. I don't think it's going to be a new troglodon, but... It's definitely... I think it's a new hero. A new, like, dinosaur hero, if I had to guess. I don't know what it would be. Maybe it would be a skink wizard? Because right now the skink oracle is like a priest. What? No, he can cast comms call. So maybe it would be a skink priest? That could be interesting, like a skink priest on a troglodon dinosaur type thing. Um, I don't know. Either way, we're getting new Seraphon stuff. And this pretty much confirms that... The spring battle tome is Seraphon. Like, that's... That is what it is now, right? Uh, then we also get a... Corn... Hero. That's what that is. And then a Slanesh... Hero. Which would make sense. Because those are the first three tomes right here. So, Seraphon, Corn, Slanesh. So maybe we get, like, a Seraphon versus... Corn box. Maybe not. Maybe it's, like, Corn, Slanesh, Chaos War... Who knows? It doesn't matter. All we know is Seraphon's getting three new things. One is new Source Warriors. Um, I mean, it's also possible it's like a new uh, foot hero, but I feel like it's new Source Warriors, like straight up. I think it is. Um, I would say it's a new Slan, new Source Warriors, and then a new 
you know, maybe a Skink Priest on a dinosaur, which would still be pretty sick, right? I think a more survivable Skink Priest would be really cool, because right now, you have the Skink Priest, you have the Star Priest, and that's pretty much it, the Foot Hero. So having, like, an actual Mounted Priest would be really sick, because otherwise you have, like, the Engine of the Gods. Which I guess, you know, <laughs> you could count that, but, uh... No, we'll see. I'm, I'm pumped, man. I'm just happy to be getting new Seraphon stuff. I'm happy to be getting a new book, because, my god, people don't like playing against the book. I'm at the point where I don't even like playing the book, because it's so much 2.0 stuff to remember. You know, I kind of want it all just kind of 3.0'd, simplified, you know, streamlined a bit. And I think, you know, a lot of the old War or a lot of War Scrolls could use with some updating, especially things like Ripper Dactyls and the Pterodactyl units. They could use some love. Um... And just better, you know, better rules and artifacts and all that stuff. And just more fun to play, right? I just want to have fun and enjoy it. And I don't want to have people be like, oh, he's playing Coalesced again. <laughs> you know what I mean? So we'll see. Um, but outside of that, uh, you know, that that's pretty much their big announcement. Then they got some Warcry. I've seen people be like, I don't know. This might be Warcry or Underworld. It's not. The fact that they're showing all three of these things, plus a corn, plus a Slanesh. And that it coincides with the battle tomes they're showing off for spring. It's pretty odd. And they just showed, for the first half of the video, showed, like, units from these battle tomes. It, uh, I mean, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to put it together, right? So, let me know what you think down in the comments section below. Let me know what your thoughts, opinions are. What do you think everything's going to be? Let me know down in the comments section below. Either way, I'm pumped. New Seraphon. <laughs> uh... So thank you very much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Okay? Okay. See ya!